Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Almost everyone wants forms on their site. Forms are one of the main ways we let visitors take action on our website and get in touch with us, the website owners. If you're investigating a website builder, you'll want to make sure it has the form functionality you need. The Wix website builder gives you a bunch of options for forms. I'm going to highlight a few in this video. So the main way that people can use forms on their Wix website is using the built-in forms widget. And there's two ways that you might find that. The first one is in the app market. So if you scroll through the app market, you'll usually see a form section. So here I'm going to click on view apps and there's a bunch of apps that I'll, uh, I'll show you a few of them soon, but I want to show you the Wix contact form widget, which is already included. You, you can click add to site, but all it's going to do is add their uh, typical form. So the, the more common way you'd find that is by going to the add menu on the, the left where you go to add elements to your website. And then under contact, you'll see a bunch of different contact forms. So it appears in the contact section they do have maps, uh, they have contact forms, get subscribers, and themed contact tools, which are the ones that match your theme. So you can click on any of these to add them to your site. So I'll just click on one, kind of drag it down. You see it's typical name, email, subject message. You can set your email address. If I click on settings, I can change what info I want to uh, request in the form. So you can turn on or off uh, name, email, phone, address, subject, message, change what the button says. Uh, it says send by default, show a message when people submit the form or take them to uh, uh, another page like could be a um, thank you page. And then it has some error handling like if they don't put in a uh, valid email address. You can click the little asterisk here to make these fields required. Email is always required it looks like. If I could check phone, check the asterisk and that makes the phone field required. So some basic form settings uh, which is going to be plenty for most uh, people who are building sites on the Wix website builder. Click you can change the layout a little bit, the alignment of the text. Click on design like you can do with any Wix element and change the design, but it looks like it's just taking us back to the, the original designs that were shown in the original um, add widget over here. And then you can animate the form. You can probably drag it to change the size. So that's the basic form widget that Wix provides. This is free with uh, the Wix website builder. Now I'll take you back into the Wix app market and show you some of the different form apps they have and they're going to give you some more premium options. Most of the apps are free with upgrade options to give you more premium options. So the free versions might be comparable to the Wix contact form or they might be limited in the number of submissions per month, something like that. But the premium options that you'll find with many of these different form apps in Wix are things like text notifications where it can send you a text message or maybe even leave you a voicemail with um, form information. There's multi-language options, uh, more pre-built forms like quizzes and pre-built surveys. A lot of them will have links up to other apps and services like Google Drive or Dropbox for storage so that people could um, uh, upload files to you using a form. Um, some of them might connect to MailChimp for mailing list management and then a lot of them will have payment options so that people can actually pay you through a form uh, with something like PayPal. I'm going to go ahead and add the Form Builder Plus app to the site just to give you a quick peek at that. This is actually the app that will come with your uh, upgraded plan. If you are on the unlimited plan you see there's a Form Builder app and I believe that it's this Form Builder Plus, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the site. And you can check out my other video on Wix pricing to uh, go through that pricing chart I was just looking at and uh, get more information about why you might upgrade to the different levels. So check that video out. I'm gonna go ahead and add the app. And what it does is just adds a form. So I am using the free version of the Form Builder Plus. So it's probably going to be a, a little bit limited. But let's just click through and see what kind of options it gives me. The, this form is, is pretty basic. Uh, first name, last name. 
email address and um, a message. If I click on settings, let's see what they give me here. So already you can see a little bit, a little bit more um, complex than the the Wix form app. So I can connect an email address, add the different form elements. They are going to allow you to add more form fields. So already that's an upgrade versus the standard form app. I can uh, have a little bit more control over the content. Uh, there's a description for the form that just go. It looks like it goes right after the title of the form. Control what happens after the user submits. Here's a require payment. Turn that on. Looks like it connects to PayPal. Some options there. There's discount codes, text messaging. Like I mentioned, you can get a text message uh, link up to Mailchimp. Here's the design options, which I'll just scroll through quickly. Background color, shadow, submit button, border, advanced. Uh, custom CSS and under more you can just kind of just take a peek here e-commerce comments slider so there's a lot of design options and add-ons you can you can do here um, it says I'm currently a free user I can upgrade I think it's a few dollars per month for this form this just kind of gives you an idea of what you can get with the um, premium form builders with Wix so hopefully that kind of clears up for you um, what Wix can do in terms of forms. Like I said, this basic form app is going to work for most people just to put a basic form on their contact page. But for those who need something a little bit more intricate, uh, you're going to be able to get that too in some of the upgraded form apps. If you want more information about Wix, check out my Wix review video. Uh, you can also check out the Wix pricing video that I mentioned earlier. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on Wix and other website builders in the future. And we'll see you on the next video.